The Department of Home Affairs has issued an update on the ongoing investigation into the citizenship of Miss SA 2024 contestant Uchidima Vanessa and Ngati Kono Ngatlangani. Hi there, my name is Kutsoma and I'm back again with the latest training news. Now, there has been a major uproar online about the citizenship of Uchidima. This is because she claims that she was born in South Africa to a Nigerian father and a South African mother with uh, Mozambican roots. Now, recently, the Department of Home Affairs received an inquiry or a request from the Miss SA organizers to um, investigate her citizenship and it seems as though that they found some shocking findings about a citizenship via Chidima. According to a statement released by the Department of Home Affairs um, a couple of minutes ago, they said that they found prima facie evidence of fraud committed by the mother of O Chidima Vanessa. The statement reads, prima facie reasons exist to believe that fraud and identity theft may have been committed by the person recorded in Home Affairs records as Chidima Ajitima's mother. The statement further says Achidima could not have participated in the alleged unlawful actions of her mother as she was an infant at the time when she when the activities took place in 2001. However, an innocent South African mother whose identity may have been stolen as part of the alleged fraud committed by Adichina's mother suffered as a result because she could not register her child. The department has broadened its investigation to identify and pursue any official um, any officials involved in the alleged fraudulent scheme and obtaining legal advice on the implications of the alleged fraudulent activity on Adichina's citizenship or status and upon the complication of the investigation Home Affairs intends to press criminal charges against all implicated parties. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's so good to have you. Thank you so much for clicking when you saw this video. So I'm sure that you all have been following up on everything happening in South Africa, especially uh, with uh, the Miss South Africa saga that's been going on all this while, okay, about Chidima Adeshina, who happens to be a Nigerian. The father is Nigerian and her mom is South African born, allegedly, because right now the news have, it has changed. Everything has turned. <laughs> so we don't know the truth anymore. Everyone is just like, okay. So uh, this lady was contesting for South African, uh, Miss South African, and it got to a point, South Africans, like, this person is not a person, she's Nigerian, she's not South African, and they asked for her to uh, <clears throat> be dissolved, okay, for her to leave uh, the whole pageantry thing. So everybody was writing, like, I was seeing the news everywhere, anywhere you go to, especially TikTok, Twitter, you're just going to be seeing it. So it became like a battle, sort of. And all of a sudden, we now heard this lady uh, release uh, a press statement saying that she's stepping down from the Miss South Africa and everything. So we all felt pity for her and we thought that, you know, everybody was not happy. Like, we're like, this lady, her mom is South African, okay? That gives her right to be a South African, according to the news we heard at the time. So her, that gives her right to be South African, right? So all of a sudden, she, she was being dragged and dragged and dragged by South Africans. In fact, a lot of Nigerians also took this personally. I was like, is it because she's Nigerian or her dad is Nigerian or she has a Nigerian blood? That's the reason why you all are doing this, okay? Not just Nigerians. A lot of people who has always known the whole South Africa and Nigerian thing, you know, they all came out. In fact, Chidima got a lot of support from people online, okay? And people were saying, you know, just giving their own, uh, their own thoughts about everything that has happened. Just recently, a video started trending online so apparently there's been uh, a news that chidima's mom is also not south african born that there was an identity theft in between okay uh before chidima was born now people are not saying south africans are not saying this is exactly why we were dragging this lady I don't think they know that part <laughs> before they started dragging that. That's what me, I think. But of course, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. But it's all been done. And at the end of the day, somebody else won the Miss South Africa. And this lady is not even black. She's not African. <laughs> 
anyway it has happened is their country they decide who they want to vote for and who they want to be the uh miss south africa so congratulations to south africa and miss south africa so congratulations and of course uh Chima's mom is currently being investigated as to uh how she got the uh, document and you also hear this other lady who also talked about how her document was missing and she's not living as an alien in her own country i couldn't get an id because that get duplicate to go home my face and hi my name is yam tanda i live in soweto so i'm facing the same situation as ayanda and I found out about this in 2017 when my principal called me um, to his office asking um, if am I enrolled in another school. I was still in grade 9 at the time and I told him no, I'm not enrolled in any school. And he said to me that in the system it shows that I am enrolled in another school. So there were, we contacted Home Affairs asking what is happening and they said it's an ID duplication. So what they can do for me is if when I turn 16, I have to get a smart card, meaning that when I have a smart card and she tries to make a smart card, they will give her a new ID number. Okay, I got, I got my smart card and everything went well until I had to apply for universities. So when I was applying for universities, all universities in South Africa rejected me. All the universities I applied to rejected me. I went to vets and they told me that they cannot see my marks. So when I apply, they check on the system. They're like, my marks are not appearing. And then um, we went to Department of Education. So when we went there, um, they showed me the marks that are on the system, which are not my marks. I was like, no, these are not my marks because I did get my statement from high school. I got my statement and I was like, this is the statement I got and these are not my marks and the exam number is not the Gauteng exam number and I wrote my exam in Gauteng and then they were like to me, um, these are the marks that Uma Lucy certified so they were like, I should give them some time, they're gonna contact Uma Lucy and ask what is happening they did um, contact Uma Lucy and Uma Lucy said that only one person's um, statement can be certified which is hers and not mine sorry about that yeah they said it's hers and not mine and they are also what can I do for my, my state for me in order for me to get um a metric certificate and they said I need to get a new ID that's the only way I can get my metric certificate I went to home affairs and I told them what they told me at Department of Education and they said to me, this is your ID, we can give you confirmation. They gave me the confirmation letter, they verified my fingerprints, which shows it belongs to me. And then um, and then I went back to Department of Education, I showed them the letters that they gave me at home affairs stating that this belongs to me. Still, they were like, no, we cannot um, certify it we need you to get a new id number so i went back to my face and i told them yeah, please have a new id number and they were like um you have to um email the minister of home affairs stating your situation because we cannot help you i called head um head office and so i called head office telling them that i need a new id because i need to get my matrix certificate to apply for universities this was um after upgrading my marks because at first i thought i was the one who got like um my marks were not adequate enough for me to get into university and um the person i spoke to was rude what more do you need because you do have your smart id and you do have the confirmations why can't they just give you a metric certificate and then my mom reached out to human rights commission the whole of last year this lady's been saying i'll help you she's been saying she'll help me and then eventually someone called me with a private number saying they from home affairs and 
my spirit was just like, no, there's no way I'm sharing my information with someone from home I face calling with a private number. So I did not share anything. I emailed the lady. I was like, someone called me saying that they're from home I face, but they called me using a private number. She was like, yeah, I talked to them. But I can't talk to some Home Affairs has never called me using a private number. So I don't know if it's you to Home Affairs. Why are they calling me with a private number when they have, like, if phones are some savings, you know, why are they calling me with a private number? Um. So, so early this year in January, I lost my phone and I had to block my card and all of that. So when I went back, I got a new phone and then I went back to um get to unblock my card and then they said to me they can give me a temporary card for now while I wait for my actual card. Then they gave me, when they were giving me the temporary card, I still had to do fingerprint verification. It did not allow they were just like it's not a problem, we'll do it using <clears throat> the OTP. Sorry, and they did it using the OTP. They gave me the card. So now it's time for me to fetch my new card, which was yesterday. I went to the bank in Dobsonville. And when I was verifying using my thumb, they were like, it's not verifying. Your fingerprints have been blocked, which basically means I no longer own the ID number. But I do have the smart card. I do have um documents confirming that. Um, this ID belongs to me from home affairs. I don't know how they blocked my ID, my fingerprints, meaning they blocked them and then they created an ID, a smart card for her because she didn't have a smart card. Because before they gave me my confirmation, they've been saying that, yeah, this girl has been, has been trying to get a, um, a smart card, but she's not submitting her clinic cards. And I did submit my clinic cards. I submitted information from my primary school, high school, stating that I've been using this, and my birth certificate stating I've been. But still, at home office, they are not giving me a new ID because at this point, the only thing I need is a new ID to carry on with my life. And I don't have a metric certificate, meaning I won't graduate. I'm basically non existent. So if you know anyone who can assist me or who assisted her regarding this ID duplication issue, please do reach out. This is a very serious matter. I basically cannot do anything. Like I literally cannot do anything because now my fingerprints have been blocked. And I only found out yesterday on the 16th of February 2024 that my fingerprints are blocked i no longer own that id i don't have an id now i will go to my face on monday and i'll see how that goes but if you know someone who can help me please do reach out i will appreciate it a lot i think i checked her comment section i also found out that she said she has been able to find uh the lady that uh she's sharing a, a document with that's the id with okay and both of them are trying to find a way around it because the lady is just uh, is as confused as she is now let us take it back to uh home affairs i think these are the people that need to be blamed in all of this how come two persons have an the same id number who gave it to them all of these things are questions we should not be asking these young people. We should be asking the people that is in charge and stop the fight. Like, because I'm just seeing a lot of people on the comment section of this lady. And a lot of people are saying this same thing is currently happening to them or has happened to them in the past. Like a lot of people said something. I saw a, con a, a particular you know, a uh, comment of a particular lady who said her brother had approached home affairs for a particular thing and he discovered that they said he died in 2020 and the brother was like, I am alive, I'm the one here. So how come I am, you know, in, in quotes, termed dead or something. So I think this whole thing, uh, I, I don't think it just happens in South Africa alone. It happens all over the world. It happens around. That's why you have people who work with other people's certificates and nobody's doing anything about them. Okay. Because I think before, uh, the tail will get rotten, it starts from the head. So let's start from the head to start doing the investigation because that's what me, I think. Oh, I don't know what you guys think. So share your thoughts 
in the comment section and i just hope that uh because with everything that is happening uh i know how Chidima will be feeling right now because she's not even involved in everything she was just going some people are still pushing it to her pressing it at her throat that she's aware of her mom's you know predicaments and everything you guys calm down let us allow the government let's allow the law enforcement agencies to carry out their investigation and of course we all find that because even me i'm asking the same question how come how possible not just me every other person is asking the same question not just Nigerians South Africans are asking people from diaspora because a lot of people have seen this thing like it's been uh, it's been a trending news for a very long time so a lot of people are very much interested to know what happened or what transpired between Chidima and her mom and like everything that that's been happening people really want to know so yeah that's my that's my thoughts you guys share what you think in the comment section but let love lead we are all africans thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please do like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for now see you guys on my next video bye guys